Hi everyone, um, it is Easter night. I do not celebrate Easter, but for those of you that do, happy Easter. I do feel that this is a time of um, where the veils are thin. This is a time of resurrection energy. So this is very thin veils, and um, I feel it's perfect not to do some divination. So if you watch my... Um, if you watch my TikTok, uh, you will saw where I pulled these two readings. And I am actually reading from the Savannah deck and the Wild Wisdom of the Fairy Oracle. Now, for the Savannah deck, there was two cards that fell out of the deck. The first one was the Magician. And the Magician reminds us that we are the creators of our lives. We are the planners. This is one of the first... Uh, maps of Savannah. This is an absolutely beautiful deck and I will do a video on this as well uh, showing you all the different cards. But for this one, it's the Magician. It reminds us that as above, so below, as within, so without. It takes focus to create. It takes focus to maintain. And it takes willpower. It takes perseverance. It takes passion. It takes a want. And, you know, there's things that people are passionate about nowadays that would seem frivolous to many. But for the person, it's everything. And this is where we have to understand our individuality. The Magician card is number one. And number one, those are our leaders. Those are our way showers. Those are, those are the ones that go ahead of the pack and they map out a way. And many of us have um, learned that we are there to help. And every one of us, you know, even my elders before me, they were there to help me map out my path by making it a little easier for me to continue. And for that, we have to be, we have to acknowledge that and we have to be grateful. There are some people in the, um, I'll say in the spiritual and occult worlds that really take advantage of others' writings and almost the point of um, writing the same book they wrote just in different words. But here, this is talking about really getting down to what you want to map your life as. You don't want to be a copycat. You don't want to be um, just another just another article, another book, another set of cards, another this. You want to be number one. You want to be original. You want to be that that stands apart. And for those of you who do have a vision and do know where you're going, you understand the importance of that focus and of that persistence, of that uh, challenging yourself every step of the way. Because many things, many things do not come easy. It comes through hard work. It, come, it, it comes from, you know, acknowledging what you truly, truly want. And walking toward that goal overturning or I would I should say um, removing or climbing over each obstacle that you may have and these challenges are there to teach you they help you grow they help you get experience that you would have never received and we have to understand that we always want things the easy way um, the ones where we don't have to do all the work, but that's not really how it is. We're in a physical world. And yes, we can, we are master manifestors, but we also have to realize that we're in a 3D form and that we have to actually physically get off our butts and make it happen. 
Now, the other card that fell out of the deck, and again, if you were watching my um, my TikTok feed, that is when I was shuffling and when they fell out. So the second card that came out is the Fool. And the Fool card tells us that, you know, it not to worry what other people think. That you're on a mission for yourself. And you need to listen to your intuition here. Um, it's okay sometimes to take that leap of faith and to... Uh, trust in yourself, trust in your abilities, trust in who you are in order to make things happen here. Sometimes we just have to take that chance. We just have to, you know, take a deep breath and make that leap. And we have to trust in ourselves that we will land on our feet every single time this is a new beginning it's a new start and it's you know map it out well map it out so we also have the card i did the wild wisdom of the fairy oracle deck as well and the card that came out of that is carry me home and on this card it says support um time to be carried and allow others to help you and you see how that is and you know this is one of the <laughs> biggest problems I have and I'm sure many of you have asking for help asking for help oh my goodness a lot of us do know that you know some of us are leaders some of us just take the just take the reins and and go some of us see the weakness and we see where the slack is and we try to help. We try to build that. Um, some of us, you know, pave the way for those that are going behind us, uh, just as my elders did. My elders paved the way for um, me to go forward in my path and all of you, really, because they are the ones who stood up and, and were saying, you know, reading cards is not... Uh, evil it's not um crazy as it was i mean z budapest was arrested um oh my goodness i can't remember when i want to say the 80s maybe but this was in los angeles she was arrested for reading tarot cards seriously and you know good and well there was many many other readers around there i mean this was los angeles california really so that that is an example of those of those way showers of those flames that that stick out there and and help pave the way for those of us that come after them but sometimes you gotta ask for help Sometimes the load can be too heavy. Sometimes it can be too much. It's overwhelming. You just can't, you feel like you can't breathe. Reach out. There's many people. I see, you know, when I'm on TikTok and other social, me social medias, I see tons of people listing stuff about reaching out. If you, if you need something, I'm here. If you're hurting, I'm here do so. Many of us have friends that are there to help us out as well, but we don't ask. We don't, we just take that burden on and we have to stop with the whole martyr complex. We have to get rid of the martyr complex and take it in our own hands. We don't all, we don't have to kill ourselves for someone else. Other people can and should carry their own burdens. People need to pull their own weight. So, in saying that, many of you who do too much, who go that extra mile, don't forget to reach out for help. There's people around that can help you. You just have to allow it. And it could also mean that you can get help on 
mapping out your life and finding out what you want. And maybe you're going to take a chance on a new adventure with someone. Many people, this is a general reading. So, um, you know, it would go toward um, different circumstances. And of course, with a personal reading, you would add up the other cards. You would have more than just this. Just one and, you know, two of these. You would have a huge reading. But that is the reading for um, tonight. And I do feel the veil is very, very thin. And, um, yeah, it's going to be a really good night. So, for those of you who celebrate the uh, Christian Easter, Happy Easter to you all. May you all be blessed. And may you all have a, a prosperous and abundant summer. Many blessings.